President Morsi claims sweeping powers in Egypt. Meanwhile, supporters and protesters take to the streets in Cairo. With the latest, we have we go to Wall Street Journal, Sam Dagger. He is live from Tahrir Square in Cairo, uh, and he's on the phone. And Sam, um, tell us what's going on there. Uh, hi, Simon. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, incredible. We uh, Tahrir Square, as you know, the epicenter of the uh, uh, what they call here the January 25 revolution that toppled Mubarak in uh, in February of 2011, and. and uh, basically spilling up again uh, today with uh, uh, tens, tens of thousands of, uh, of youth groups and uh, secular and uh, liberal, uh, liberal uh, parties that are um, already chanting uh, for the downfall of Morsi and what they're calling uh, the rule of the Muslim brother. This, this is the Islamist uh, uh, party that's um, the main component of the Islamist coalition here in Egypt now. And they're very upset with all these decrees that uh, Morsi issued last night, uh, granting himself extraordinary powers. Now, they're extraordinary powers. Uh, he's been likened to Pharaoh or, or sort of a, a dictator. Is that a fair comment? Well, again, we have to keep that in uh, keep in mind that these comments are coming from his uh, opponents. These people have opposed him all along. I mean, the Pharaoh comment came from. Uh, Mohammed al Baradi, who was a, a presidential candidate here, um, if, if you recall, He's, he was one of the presidential candidates, and uh, obviously these people have been have been uh, you know butting heads with Morsi and the and the Islamist coalition here um, for a while now. But for them, this was like what what sort of uh, the straw that bro broke the camel's back, so to speak, uh, because he had also uh, Morsi, as you know, uh, had. Um, uh, legislative powers when the uh, had, had taken over legislative powers when the uh, military council that was uh, ruling Egypt in the interim between the fall of Mubarak and uh, the election of Morsi and he had other sweeping powers and, and now with this last decree he basically uh, froze the judiciary saying that you know I could issue as many degree, decrees whatever decrees I want and the ju judiciary cannot review those decrees cannot uh, touch them so that's really what's what, what's making people very worried here and uh, the main uh, one of the main newspapers here uh, today headlined uh, uh, Morsi uh, quote unquote temporary dictator so I mean you, you can imagine um, uh, uh, you know, the level of anger and rage here. But, but, I mean, the fear is that this is a power grab by the Islamists, and that's been an ongoing theme here for, for a while now. Mm. But from the Mur Morsi camp, and uh, also from Morsi himself, is that, that what they're doing is they're trying to preserve, you know, the January 25th revolution, which they feel is being threatened by, you know, uh, uh, former regime loyalists. And, uh, and, and there is some truth to, to that, because all the judiciary are appointees of Mr. Mubarak. Mm. So v very quickly, um, in, in 10 seconds, how do you think this will play with, with the U.S., uh, which um, is obviously been very pro-democracy, and this isn't a democratic move? You've got about 10 seconds. Sure. I mean, obviously, an Obama official said they were stunned by this, and this is really, really bad for the U U.S., because this comes on the heels of Clinton's visit on Wednesday to meet with Morsi and basically to, uh, to, to push him to broker a, a peace deal between Israel and uh, the Palestinians in Gaza. So this really looks very bad for Washington. Looks, looks, looks very bad. We've got to leave it there. Thank you very much. Sam Dagger with the Wall Street Journal in Tahrir Square, Cairo, covering situation there. More on that on WSJ.com.